the development of PK resulted in a century of stunning success. However, a real revolution began, and corneal transplantation changed forever. Research on EK began in the 50s, but really took off during the last 25 years. After some turbulence, the old PK finally evolved to DLEK, then to DZEC, to PDEC, and to DMEC. All of these modalities have their pros and cons. Automated DSEC has a high cost due to microcaratoms. DMAC is the first choice, but can be really challenging in some cases. Five years ago, our research focused on a new method to create manually ultra thin dissected endothelial lamella. Depth and quality of dissection seem to be key in DSEC outcomes. Thus, Paki DSEC resulted from the modification of some classic steps. Although the role of thickness is controversial, there is evidence to advocate for thinner grafts. We have compared standard and pocket dissect. Thinner lamella were found in a pocket dissect group. In a retrospective study, 15 eyes with ocular comorbidities underwent pocket dissect. No tissue loss was found. Most grafts were planar shaped. 
with a medium thickness of 80 micron. 80% of grafts were ultra thin, with a median dissection depth error of 33 microns. Pocket sec resulted in the second highest rate of grafts below 100 micron in the literature, and the third highest when comparing to automated dissection. Here are some examples. Visual acuity improved, especially in patients with normal visual potential. There was no change in corneal curvatures. Two cases of graft detachment and one of rejection happened. In a recent study, we compared four dissection depths and found that Pachydisac can produce even thinner grafts when no safety margin is used when calculating the incision depth. Let's see some challenging cases treated with Pachydisac. So, we think DISAC is a good choice for difficult cases. It is cheap and reproducible. Sometimes one can avoid the extremes of corneal transplantation and take the middle path. Thank you.